All right, hey everybody, welcome to Down Home Backyard Gardening. Now, let's go over the unglamorous part of gardening. And what is that, you ask? Well, that's not the harvests and the massive tomatoes and sweet potato harvests and all that. It's the non-fun, the maintenance of gardening, the non-sexy part of gardening. So, let's do this. Okay, so before we get into all of that fun, who remembers this from the last video? Love the comments. It just, it, it brightens my day. There was a, uh, there was a, I got a comment yesterday evening, which I'll put up right here. And that was from a video from a long time ago that he was watching. And he said, he's, and hey, well, <laughs> I found the comment. It wasn't in YouTube's comments, which I thought it was. It was in the Facebook Down Home Backyard Gardening Pages comments. And the subscriber actually brought it to my attention, saying that he basically choked on his sweet tea almost when he was watching the video and realized I was talking about him. So here's his message to me and my response. I want to thank you again on here. Like I said in my response to you, that comment made my day that day. And um, I really do appreciate it. Now, in the last video, I went a little deep and I didn't go too deep, I don't believe. I was just, you know, borderline with what I'm going through. And um, I wanna say the outpouring. Um, I want to say all the comments that I've been getting, um, that I'm putting up here on the screen, uh, are very helpful. They are uh, truly heartfelt, I feel them, from everyone. And the fact that you all are reaching out to a complete stranger, <laughs> who's obviously being completely open and honest and um, sharing not just the gardening side, but the real side of a person's life. Um, you all supporting me and giving me that kind of, uh, well, support, <laughs> uh, means the world to me. Uh, I woke up this morning and I was like, you know what? I need to get out here and do a video. I need to do a video. I need to get back in front of the camera. <laughs> so, uh, trying to keep myself in check right now and I'm not going to edit this, but, uh, I want to thank you all seriously, hundred percent from right in here. Thank you very, very, very much. Okay. So enough of all that, right? We're here to, we're here to watch gardening. So let's do some gardening stuff, shall we? <laughs> all right. What is the unglamorous part of gardening? Well, that's not, like I said earlier, the planting and the harvesting and, you know, the sharing of everything that you do in a garden. It's the prep work. It's the behind the scenes when you're pulling out everything and you're taking down T posts and you're cleaning out corners and you're cleaning out vegetable vines and plants that are dead and done and amending your soils. That's what I'm talking about. That stuff's not fun, but it's therapeutic. And honestly, it's part of being in the being a gardener it, it's like hand and glove it, they go hand in hand hand and glove i just said that <laughs> so this is what this video is going to be um i'm i really want to be in front of the camera right now so this is what we're going to do the rest of this video is just going to be music and me and fast forward going through everything that i'm doing now i do have some big projects coming i know i alluded to that in the last video um I'm getting close to starting those and I'm excited to actually start those, but I want to wait till it gets a little cooler and a little closer to, uh, to spring for a few of those. I do have a big announcement coming at the end of this week, um, which I'm very excited about. Uh, and I'm sure y'all know what I'm talking about if you follow this channel. <laughs> so, um, also I want to ask y'all a question. My daughter, Darian, has mentioned that I need to change up my music. She's told me this a few times. Now, the song that I'm going to play today is a song that just lifts me up when I hear it. Um, it, it, it just, you know, I feel it. it. It just lifts me up. So I do try to change up the music, especially based on the video. 
And I know that might sound a little weird, but like if I'm doing a fun video for the kids, I'm gonna have different music than if I'm doing a serious video uh, for adults, if that makes sense. So, but this song that I'm gonna play here in a minute, just when I first heard it, it, it just clicked, I loved it. And I wanna know from you all, the viewers, cause you know, you all watch the videos. If you're tired of the same songs, um, tell me, Dro please drop them in the comments. I will find more. I'm subscribed to a couple different um, video sharing, producing websites. I don't know really what you call them, but I can find more music. But this song right here, it, it just it just lifts me up. I, I don't know any other way to say it. And right now, that's exactly what I need. So everyone, hey, if you're still watching, sit back, grab some coffee or you know whatever your, your favorite drink is and just relax for the next few minutes. Thank you for watching as always. Thank you for being part of my gardening family. I love all of y'all. I love the comments. I cannot thank you enough for the support. And there's a B. What are you doing? Good Lord. Um, totally threw me off. I cannot thank you enough for the comments. Um, real quick before I get into all this, before I do the video here, hey, we're, we're close to Christmas. If you all have not gone and got all your Christmas stuff, check out Farmer's Defense. I know I keep plugging them. They're a great company. Their sleeves are fantastic. I absolutely love these things. Yeah, I, I just love them. The shirt is so comfortable. Um, the stuff I use out here in the garden is great. Check out their, their website. They've got all kinds of specials going right now. Uh, and also at checkout, if you type in Backyard 10, you'll save some more money. And then finally, go down into the description below. I've got a bunch of Amazon links. I am an Amazon affiliate, which means if you purchase anything off of Amazon that you clicked on one of my links and got sent to Amazon, Amazon then pays me a teeny tiny fraction of a finder's fee and it just goes to helping this channel so if y'all are down for that by all means do me a favor and click those buttons and buy whatever you're going to buy anyway and have amazon pay me <laughs> so everyone continue to shine bright and harvest hard This bed is completely cleared out now for the most part. I'm leaving, I'm gonna leave this bee bomb in here. There's some thyme right there, some marigolds, but for the most part, this is all clear. Now I've got some basil there that won't survive the winter, especially if we get a freeze. But right here where these sticks are, if y'all remember, I did that video where I put all that old meat and those uh, watermelon rinds in a bed, that's right there. And there's been no, no, zero animal issues with this area. None at all. Now, I did have a rat, but the rat was affecting all my cabbages and uh, the crimson clover sprouts. They never dug. I have no digging in any of the spots where I put the, uh, the meat and the watermelon rind. So, Again, when I made that video, I did say, hey, if y'all have rodent issues, I would not do this. So, again, if y'all have rodent issues, issue, again, if y'all have rodent issues, don't do that, that trick. But I guarantee with what I'm gonna plant here in the spring, this area is going to blow up. So.